video was made possible by EA Game Changers. What is up, me little sugar buggers? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of Strangerville. Alrighty, you guys, so we are picking up where we left off in part numero uno. Jet is still currently asleep, and today we are actually going to be working from home as a raw recruit. So that means we need to reach level two of the fitness skill and run on the treadmill. So I'm probably going to have Jet head on over to Oasis Springs and probably use their gym because Strangerville doesn't actually have a place that you can work out, which would have been nice. I'm not going to lie. would have been totally nice, especially with the whole military career. Would have been pretty blessed to see a brand new gym as well especially because we have this really cool little sparring station so would have been uh, kind of nice to see that implemented but have no fear I'm sure somebody's gonna make one I actually might so there is that now I just want to give you guys a quick little disclaimer I actually already filmed uh, part two but it felt really rushed it didn't feel authentic enough to post um, just because I was filming it so much that day I was kind of glazing over some really important facts like, I don't know, the fact that um, <laughs> our newfound friend who isn't at work today is bugged. He is literally bugged. I didn't even notice until I went back to part one's footage. I can't even believe we missed the fact that Erwin Prize is literally a freaking spy, just like our guy Jet. So anyway, what we're going to do today is we are going, my friends, we are going to get that key card. I don't care what it is that we got to do, but we is going to do it. So this morning we have our beautiful Jane out in her garden. She recently just super sold everything um, in her garden. And I think it should be right here in our inventory. So we got some carrots. We got a little bit of green peas. We've got some basil and a little bit of parsley. So we're going to have her go and sell all of these things. And then probably go into the kitchen and maybe make a little spinach omelet. So when Jet wakes up, uh, he can actually eat and head out the door. Because today, I want to go and collect the rest of the evidence that we need to be able to convince somebody to give us a key card. We need to plant our bugs <laughs> on some suspecting sims we also need to go to the bar and uh, try to like talk up some of the uh recruits you know Okay, so let's go in here and make a little spinach frita, which I think is essentially an omelet. I could be wrong. Um, and then we also need to take care of Harry. So when I posted it on Twitter that I named him Harry after Harry Styles, somebody was like, no, you shouldn't have made him, uh, named him after Harry Potter, which to be honest with you, I think fits so much more because like, I don't even think Jane knows who Harry Styles is, but I can almost guarantee you that she is a huge Harry Potter fan. So Harry is no longer after Harry Styles. Sorry, Styles. It's now Harry Potter, and he's cute. I love him. He's seriously everything. And then I saw somebody um, with the suggestion for our Tetra to be named Setra, kind of like in The Sims 3. So we are going to call our Tetra Setra. So thank you for this suggestion. And now our fish has a name. So let's go and see how Jet is feeling this morning. He actually needs to go to the bathroom super duper bad. So I'm going to have him go and make his way to the toilet. Um, and and then I think once the spinach Frida is done, we'll have him go and snack on that. Um, hopefully he makes it. It's not too far of a walk. So we'll have him snack on it. And then I think we're going to probably go head over to the gym because I just want to get like the boring stuff out of the way. Um, but I think what we're also going to do is maybe go and grab a couple more bugs. I think that would be really helpful because I only got three right now and I feel like the more the merrier in this type of a situation. So it looks like Jane could not wait for Jet to go and grab his spinach Rita, but he's going to go and snack a serving right now. Um, I'm pretty sure the reason why our Sims are not sitting is because of this gigantuous fruit bowl that Jen decided to get crafty with. So I'm probably going to have to move that somewhere else or try to like fix it so he can use it. But Jane is literally hogging up the place, but Jet still was able to squeeze by her. Yay! I'm so excited so I was asking you guys um like your opinions on their dynamic because we don't really know a lot about Jane and Jet but what I do know about Jane and Jet is they were like the classic high school sweethearts like they were the um kids you saw in the uh, yearbook, the ones that are in the front page most likely to get married, that was Jet and Jane. Like, Jet and Jane, everybody knew Jet, everybody knew Jane, vice versa. Um, but his job has made him become kind of like this very standoffish individual. He 
kind of puts his relationship with Jane on the back burner and basically focuses on himself, on his career. And although Jane understands, I kind of feel like she is the crutch to this whole entire relationship. You know, she's literally holding up Jet more than he could possibly ever fathom. So I don't know. I'm kind of interested in seeing how that all like, you know, falls into play. Somebody said that they might get divorced. I highly doubt it. Um, there might be a little codependent codependency here, but at the end of it, there's nothing but love. Like Jet is just kind of not really realizing how special Jane really is. You know what I mean? Like he knows, but he, he just, he doesn't get it. That type of a thing. Um, so Jane's going to come over here and she's going to wish her man uh, the best of luck today because he has to go in and, you know, just, just to do a little bit of work, still get acquainted um, with all the recruits and whatever. So we're going to have her go and make some funny faces. We could also have her go and I think we're going to have a, her kiss him. And then uh, I'm pretty sure he says something over in, I think, the friendly category or friend. Yeah, maybe um, about sharing conspiracy theories. Now, I saw it. There it is. Oh, my God. Now, the thing that Jet doesn't want to hear is Jane's freaking conspiracy theories because he's investigating that, you know? <laughs> so you know, the, the less she knows, the better. And it looks like our bills were delivered and they are a whopping 400, no, 900 and 48 freaking million. So take a gander at our at our pocket right now. We definitely don't have the wallet for it. So we need to have Jet and Jane figure out exactly how they are going to make um, some extra cash. So let's get Jet in to his everyday wear. Um, let's have him go and rock this new jacket. Uh, let's go see if Irwin is at his station yet. And there he is. So would you look at that Irwin freaking prize is a spy. I wonder if he knows he's bugged. You know what I mean? I, I think he kind of does, though. He's got to know. He looks like the type of dude that is, like, super duper suspicious. Like, he would never, ever in a million years be a spy. Well, maybe he would be a spy. But I don't think he would be, like, willingly bugged, you know? So, okay. I think part of the things that we need to do is we need to get five more of these evidence pieces. And if we collect 15 pieces of Strangerville evidence to compile a secret don uh evidence can be found by questioning the locals or poking around the secret lab. So once we, again, find 15 of those, I think we can make something out of it maybe, or we could actually uh, give our evidence to, I believe, Irwin even. Um, so Jet's definitely busting his hump a little bit, trying to get him to be a little bit cheaper on the prizes, the prices, the prizes. <laughs> um, but it doesn't seem like it's helping. So we're just going to talk to him a little bit more. We're going to buy a couple more of those bugs. Again, we do need to make it over to the gym at some point today, um, just so that we can complete our task. Uh, I think we need to, yeah, there's no way to get around the, um, to get around the treadmill thing. So we're going to buy two more of these. They're so expensive. Oh my God. And that's another thing too. Like his job and his, you know, his gig, it costs so much money. And Jane is just a sport. Like she doesn't question it at all. I convinced one of these scientists to show me some evidence about the covert operations here in Strangerville. Did you give me that evidence? No, you did not. Oh my God. Come on, Erwin. Okay. So let's go and take a little peek see around the town. I'm pretty sure we can actually have Jack come over here um, and take a picture. I don't know if that would be, uh, you know, considered evidence, but we're going to try it. And then if not, what we can do, uh, we can go, I think, and question the locals, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. So let's let's try to do that as well. And so we have now 11 pieces of evidence. And let's go and check out this bad boy. Oh, we cannot. OK, we already have some evidence evidence in our inventory or we've already taken a picture too soon something along those lines now I wonder if we were to talk to this kid you know he literally lives in a freaking airplane so let's go and visit um the Cal Hill residence when we are done uh digging up this rock here cool so we're only four away which is actually very exciting so today I decided to okay in case you guys are wondering what my go to Starbucks drink is. It's been a minute since we've had the chat. Um, I literally order a grande iced caramel macchiato with extra ice and a venti cup so like you feel like you're getting the big daddy you know what I mean of Starbucks but you're really not you're only paying for a grande um and then I decided to splurge a little bit and we went for two shots so your girl's about to feel it because last night you guys last night 
I actually went to a comedy show here in Seattle. Actually, it was the Parlor in Bellevue, which is very cool. If you live in Seattle, you should definitely check out the Parlor. Great comedy shows. Went with my sister. Went with uh, my sister's partner. And then what else? Uh, we went with my mom, right? And uh, I've never seen my mom lit. My mom had three double mojitos. Three double mojitos. Three. Three double mojitos. That is like six freaking drinks what do you do I mean this woman was all over the place she was dancing she was getting down to some amigos like she didn't even know the songs and then there was a song that was like called Caroline and it was like more modern day like this girl was busting it down you know what I mean 69 bitch who you know it was a great time and so as you can imagine I had to keep up with her so you girls feeling a little juiced over if you get what I'm saying you know the hangover not the movie it's a real deal right now so this coffee is making me feel jacked to the nines Anyway, um, let's go and give this kid a introduction. Ooh, a military introduction. I wonder why. Is he a part of the military? Or is that just something you can do because you are a part of the military? Oh, my goodness. So this is apparently um, his little basement that he lives in. And he actually seems like a really cool dude. Like, I like the way he looks. He has a lot of charisma, a lot of, like, swag. Um, and also, I think, to be real with you, he's been waiting for the moment for somebody to have the cojones to basically question Strangerville. So I feel like maybe we could definitely become friends with George Cowhill if he's willing to share the information that he has gathered during his stay in Strangerville. In case you guys don't know George's history, um, his, his plain Penelope, P. Okay, this is her. His plain Penelope is literally his everything, right? And she, he, they <laughs> would fly all over SimWorld, like all over. And then one day when he passed over, over Strangerville, kind of like the Bermuda Triangle, a big bright light took down Penelope from the skies to her final resting place. And obviously George being so in love with his plain Penelope, he couldn't even think about leaving her side. So now he resides in her her undercarriage I guess oh god that sounds like a match made in heaven <laughs> it's a little it's a little strange but uh yeah that's a true story like that's literally I can't even believe I remembered that <laughs> I'm so shocked okay cool so looky here I bet if you get enough evidence of the weird stuff happening you could convince a scientist or a military officer to give you a key card to the lab well sir can you give me a little bit of information here George Cowhill because I need I need to know all of the tea so what do I what do I do like how do I I, um, and I don't want to give him an inspirational speech. This kid looks like it would go in one ear and out the other. So you know what I think we need to do? I don't know if we could, and this is really risking it, but I feel like maybe possibly um, we could go back to the science lab just to see if there's anything that we overlooked. I kind of don't want to do that, but I'm also really desperate at this point, and I don't think we can take any more pictures of things. So what about trash cans? Is there like a garbage can anywhere that we could actually dig through? Um, maybe this one over here or... Or is there anything happening down in the main square? I want to see if we can, like, rummage. I don't think we'll find anything rummaging it through a trash can. Um, I don't think these people are that careless. But, oh, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Sorry there, George. At least we know him now. But let's actually go and uh, try to talk to Jess because apparently we don't know her. So thank you so much for your time, George. You were amazing. Blah, blah, blah. We'll keep, in our, keep him in our back pocket. I don't really feel like George is going to give us any information. However, Jess looks like she could be a little possessed and we did get a tip we did get a tip that some of the plagued sims can be found wandering aimlessly in the town square but quickly um they're usually put in their place and snatched right off the sidewalk so what we're trying to do is we are trying to get there in time to meet jess but for whatever reason um okay i think i think it's because it's like super hot outside and jet is just he is overwhelmed right now so we're trying to talk to her it's not working there is literally nobody home she got close like she was about to kiss him oh Oh my god okay hold on a second she's talking in this really weird foreign language her nest is crowded and weary we do not deserve her it's a little weird and it's a little strange so you know what we're gonna do we are going to try to plant a bug on jess and oh there he goes did it work oh my god oh that's so cute i love how they like give a hug jess sigsworth didn't notice the bug being planted use the listening device to see if jess sigsworth spills any important information so we are going to try to snap jess out of it by slapping her in the chin and i think it worked i actually think we were able to get her to snap out of it so you know what obviously what we're gonna 
going to do is we are going to talk to her about Strangerville. We're going to see if we can get any um, information from her. And look at the army truck. Oh, it's actually moving. Oh, I love this. Okay. All right. Hold on a second here. If evidence got, wait, if someone got enough evidence, we already know um, that we could get a key card to the lower house lab let's hope that doesn't happen um she didn't give us any information okay so it looks like we need to talk to a couple more sims about strangerville so actually let's go and look at this guy over here um his name is simon aka simon um i'm gonna see if we can kind of talk to him a little bit we're also gonna question him about the uh, military base i don't want to be like saw like or saw, seen <laughs> standing here talking to desks for too much longer because i don't want to raise um suspicion but we're just pretending like we're mingling in. We're new here, right? We've only lived here for a couple weeks. And, of course, you know, of course, we just, we just want to get familiar. Military ranked warrant officer level five or above can get a key card to the restricted area of the lab. Just use a computer to requisition a key card and they'll mail one to you. I've heard civilians are finding ways to get them, though. Uh, but you know what? Let's actually give him a hug for this newfound information. It's super duper helpful. Thank you. Apparently, he's uh, required to uh, keep quiet with. Wait, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Did he just wait? Hold on hold on wait it felt like he actually planted me too that that i'm lying because it, it's just the way that he hugged me it was kind of strange so anyways i don't know if uh megan will give me some information but uh we're gonna try it we're gonna try it so i think what we're gonna do you guys is probably just go back to the lab um because we are not a warrant officer right so obviously we need to uh we need to get to that rank to be able to actually request a key card so all right it looks like we've got no other choice you guys but to go back to the stupid time Lab. Obviously, Jet doesn't want to do this in broad daylight, but we really don't have a choice. There might even be a treadmill there that we could, you know, just pretend that we're using while uh, we're actually investigating the place. But if you guys don't remember, in part one, we ransacked the damn, the damn spot. So, like, what, what, are we, what are we supposed to do at this point? Um, but maybe the uh, maybe there's more um, information to be collected. Oh, there is. Okay. Um, so I actually think that we could probably we could probably get the rest of the evidence that is required to get this key card. Oh, I'm so excited. And okay, um, we have 12 pieces of evidence, and I think we could probably go for 15 here. Okay, well, he's gonna go and check out that pile over there. There's also this one. Um, it just kind of sucks that you got to keep coming back. But, like, this is the quickest way to do it if you're really actually trying to um, find out as much as you can in the shortest amount of time possible. So let's see here. We've got, I got to say, 14. Okay. And so I'm pretty sure Jet just needs one more piece of evidence. And hopefully it is in this holy grail pile over here. And woo! Oh, voila, you guys, we have 15 pieces of evidence. Okay, so um, now that we have 15 pieces, I'm not sure if we can create a, a secret one of these things hold on let's see okay we created one of the secret dossers um but i don't think that's gonna help me get in through the back door so let me see i'm pretty sure that once we've created one of these we might be able to convince someone um to give us a key card so the only person that i feel like might actually be down to help is maybe the one person that's bugged and this is probably not wise at all like this is probably one of the stupidest ideas but the only other thing i can think of is maybe going to eight bells really quick which is a bar um and possibly meeting up with oh god i don't know who would have one um okay let's just go there by ourselves i kind of trust jess a little bit so i'm going to put my bets on her granted i feel like i can definitely screw this up by uh, messing with the wrong side. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Okay, so now that we have what it is that we need, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, um, I obviously do want to see if it is possible to convince um, Erwin here to give me... Hold on a second. Request a key card from the curio shop to see if you can provide any information. Uh, come back after... Yeah, I know that. Wait, hold on. Come back after entering the secret lab correct wait hold on request a key card oh my god hold on hold on hold on i think we might actually be able to get one from him i know he's bugged and this is stupid and selfish but i'm definitely gonna go oh 
<gasps> hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. It says, I think I have a key card in my secret inventory. I will only sell one of these to you if you can prove that you're committed to the Strangerville investigation. Maybe if you have a secret dinosaur. I don't know how to say that. Yes, I do. I do. I have one of those. Oh my god. Will you? Will you? Will you? Yes. Yes. Yes! Oh my god, we can get it, we can get it, we can get it. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, so trade the secret dos I don't know, the the, the secret do dinosaur, um, and some simoleons for the key card to the secret lab. Oh my god, okay. I am absolutely going to make this trade. I left Jess at the stupid freaking bar, but I don't even care. And you guys, we have the freaking key card to the secret lab. So obviously. All right, we got a couple other things that it is that we need to do. So we are going to head over to the Oasis Springs gem just for a little bit to get that uh, heat off our trail. And once we are done, um, I need to figure out how exactly we can, um, how we can, you know, build up a little bit of energy here so we can go in and, and just see what is located in the secret laboratory. So I want to bring Jess with us to the, uh, <laughs> to the gym so we can work out together since we are a part of the same military and I feel really bad just kind of leaving her behind there at the, um, at the bar. But anyway, uh, let's go and discuss some interests really quick with her. We are also going to tell her a quick little funny story. And in case you guys did not know, Jess is married happily so, um, but she is definitely tainted by whatever it is that is going on here in Strangerville. So, uh, let's go over to the, um, to the treadmills and we're going to go and have a little bit of a jog and my game is kind of lagging right now. So let's go and fix that. I don't know why, whatever your game lags, I don't know if this is going to work for you, but it works for me. Whenever you notice these little sprouts of just total, like an utter just lag in your game. I feel like whenever I hit like the three little dots, it fixes it. It's so stupid because it was happening in build, uh, build mode too. But then whenever I would hit the three dots, it would just stop. So I don't know what is going on, why that seems to be the fix. But uh, yeah, so let's have Jet go and kind of work out a little bit. Like I said, I do obviously need the simoleons because we need to grab one of those listening devices. And the only way that we're going to be able to do that is obviously with some damn money. And I think they're like about $550. And we also have bills that we need to pay. Um, so we, okay, we've already accomplished our daily task. And then... I need to have him reach level uh, two of the fitness skill. So believe it or not, we're not that far off at all. And I don't know if there's any new skills that actually come with Strangerville, uh, but I'm, I, I hope that there is. I don't think that there would be, but maybe there is. So a yoga class is starting in about 30 minutes. And seriously, I have never seen Jet working so damn hard, like ever. He is just killing it. Do you see that though? That is such a crazy fix. It is such a crazy fix. So who is this kid? Cause he seems really cool. His name is Jacob Atkins. Ooh, he's He's, he's adorable. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I mean, don't mind me or anything. I'm just going to sit my Starbucks and uh, check you out. Hey. All right. Let's just try to finish this up because you know what? I'm, I'm over it. Okay, cool. So I think, I think, I think, I think with Pink Ink, we reached level two. Hey. Um, so we are obviously mucho, mucho sucio. Like we are literally like stinking like two dirty freaking nalguitas in a sock. I don't even know what that even means, but we're going to go with it. Um, and I feel like we need to get some energy. So I really want Jane to go and make us a pot of coffee. Do you see how much we rely on her? Like her job may seem so minuscule and like she doesn't do anything, but she does lots of things. Like she is literally his backbone. And he just, I don't feel like, you know, he takes enough time to... I don't know, like, realize that. And so did we ever give her, we did give her, no, we haven't. Oh my God, we haven't even given her our pink lava beacon. Um, and I want to do that. And I also want to be a little romantic with her. So I know this job is taking up so much of my time. I'm trying to like prepare Jet, like for what he needs to say is what I'm trying to get at. Like I'm trying to prepare, whoa, hold on a second. Whoa, okay, I don't know, conspiracy theory or what, but I'm looking at a picture that I have above my desk and uh, whoo. Um, it's actually of London, believe it or not. And it's like one of these little like painting things that has like sparkles and like it's all, um, you know, black and white, but like the telephone booths in London are like bright red. And it's just, it's like a cheap little like canvas painting that I got from Ross apparently for $14.99. Anyway, I'm looking up and there literally looks like there's an eyeball in one of the telephone booths, like looking at me. It's kind of creepy. And I'm like, oh, playing, I've been playing way too much Strangerville. So we're going to 
glad that Jet finished doing what he is doing. I'm actually going to control Jean really quick. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to whip up a pot of Z caffeine. And then um, we're going to go to the uh, we're going to go to the secret lab just to see if the key card works. So, all right, let me go and have her very briefly put away. Um, the spinach Frida, she's going to go and brew a pot of coffee because Jet just texted her and asked if she would put one on for him. Um, let me see. I wish we were able to actually feed our little fishies. I think that would be super duper cute. And then also Harry, I want to I do more things with him. I'm afraid to play with him. I don't want her to get sick. But all right, the coffee is on. Jet should be rolling in here shortly. Um, and once it is finished, we'll have him go and grab a little sip sip. So, uh, all right. So he's, he's coming in hot in his towel, which definitely is a little strange if I might add. Um, but the coffee is ready. So let's go and grab a drink. Okay. And, um, let's also see if we have any points. Oh, we get, we, okay. You know what? We don't need the coffee actually. God, I feel bad because Jane just like made it and now we don't need it. Now we don't need it at all. Um, instead we can grab ourselves a, I think think a moodlet solver for 500 or is it wait, what does this do um instantly removes all negative moodlets but somebody said that i should get the i think it was the moodlet solver if i'm not mistaken and then it was supposed to like fix everything but i don't think that it does at all um so we'll grab the sleep replacement because i know that that works but after this cup of coffee um we're going to go ahead and like chug it or you know what we could do we could just put it in our coffee how easy is that so jet is gonna <laughs> Jet's double fisted. <laughs> I love it. Um, and he also needs to use the bathroom because all of the drinks. So we're going to do that really quick. And after we are finished doing that, we're going to give Jane a little hug and a kiss. I like how she actually brought her uh, she brought her coffee in there, too. And I know that this sounds weird, but a part of me wants to bug Jane. And I don't know why that is, but Jet, I mean, he trusts her. But he wants to make sure that she isn't getting into his business. And the only way to do that is to bug her. So we've already bugged two Sims. And if we want to listen to anything that they have to say, um, we need to we need to obviously get that, that device. So what I want Jet to do is I want him to consider it we can think about it if you guys think it is a good idea to bug Jane let me know in the comments down below I'll also do a little poll action so that we can get the real number um but let me just go and give her a heartfelt compliment really quick before we head out again to the secret lab just because I want her to know that I appreciate her and I love her and she's literally amazing and we couldn't do this without her and so um, when I do actually give her the um the lava lamp I want to do it in like a date setting or something so let me just give her a quick little kiss on the cheek really fast before we go um let's just do that and then obviously you know she's excited to see us she's home all day she's gonna get bored and that's the thing too she gets bored she might she might start prying which obviously we don't want so I'll let jet go and give her a little kiss oh so sweet okay well now that we got that out of the way jet is hungry as per the usual like he is such a big eater um but let's go and check out the secret lab oh my I did. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of us. Like literally you guys part the original part two was such a shit show like I'm just gonna say it it was so bad oh my god I like I just I don't even want to spoil it. It was horrible. I'm so glad that I didn't post it because this went a little more flawlessly so we're gonna go and use the key card you guys and we will hopefully gain access to the lower lab here we go i'm actually gonna just save the game really quick um <laughs> but in case something goes wrong but i can't wait to see if it actually works is it gonna work <gasps> oh oh my goodness what the heck oh shoot oh no something ended up coming out look at all of these spores oh no jet oh Frick it now. And then the first thing he does is sneeze. Oh my god, you guys. Literally, I feel like this is the point of no return. All right, you guys. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and end part number two. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Walking home late at night. Maybe half past two. A little drunk, but I'm alright. Cause I've been hanging with you, and it feels like love. Tell me if.